with friends. Welcome to Crashing with Friends. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman. Yo. Connor Hobbs. Yo. And my cousin Dayton Bolton. How are you guys doing? You're supposed to say yo. Yo. Yeah. How you guys doing? <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we're good, Dayton. How have you been? I'm great. I'm happy to be here. Good. It's <laughs> good to have you. Connor. We, we have him now. <laughs> Connor, how's your week been, man? Uh, it was a good week. Um, once again, kind of a struggle to work, you know, and stay there. Um, but yeah, I, I got it done. Um, got new sets of aligners earlier in the week. Um, I got scanned like a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, more. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounded cool. Some, yeah. <laughs> I got scanned. Dun dun dun. Uh, yeah, they rescanned my teeth, and uh, I got like eight new sets of aligners. And then, hopefully, after that, I'm done. Uh, so that'll be like 36 total sets. So yeah, Dang. it'll likely end around April, I think. So that'll mean like pretty much a whole year of having aligners. Yeah, I I hope the whenever you go in there in April, like you're like all right, ready to get. Ready to be done with these, and they're like, "Hey, for fools, bro!" Right? <laughs> We're scanning you again, boy. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been uh, interesting, you know, aligner stuff. But yeah, good to go there. I watched No Time to Die, the little seven No Time to Die. I thought it was okay. You know, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I already kind of <laughs> spoiled some stuff to Jack earlier. Oh yeah, but and it made me cry like a baby. <laughs> James Bond movie. I don't know, just because of what was happening up there. Oh, <laughs> oh man, but uh, <laughs> and I inside just saying that right there, just like what? Because that movie definitely would not make anybody cry, man. Uh, but okay, initially my thoughts on that movie. Uh, my girl Anna. Diarmas, is that that's her name, right? Mm-hmm. Um, from the trailers, I thought she was going to be in it a lot more, and she was only in it for like maybe twenty minutes. Um, so that kind of threw me through a loop. And then um, overall, the story, man, just kind of how the ending was. I just things didn't have to go down the way they did, so it was kind of like planning, I guess. I, it didn't make sense, uh, but it was still like a seven. Overall, it was like a really action-packed movie, you know, just from beginning to end. It was just a lot of action. Um, but, yeah, definitely worth a watch. It's on Amazon right now if anyone wants to watch it. Um, but, yeah, it's been a it's been a good good few weeks. We haven't been on for a while since the, uh, the last taping. And I've been playing this new game, Hi-Fi Rush. Kyle played it. Jackson's heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> Dayton's just now hearing about it. Yeah. Um, it looks freaking sweet. Yeah. Lie. It's a Game Pass game, and it's like a like an action um, hack and slash type game, but it's like all synced to like music and a beat, and just like the overall like like the overall gameplay is super easy to pick up, even for like a rhythm game where it's like normally pretty hard for someone to pick up a rhythm game. Um, cause it like, it doesn't make you necessarily hit everything to the beat. You can kind of like cheat and just like, you know how like in Batman Arkham games, um, whenever you like hit somebody and then you hit them as your, your punch is hitting them, like your next punch, it like, it, it like turns into like a perfect like combo type thing. Yeah. Um, it, like the same thing can happen where like if you hit someone as you're like hitting them, it'll like continue the beat for you. So, like, you keep getting that damage bonus. And, like, you don't have to hit anybody to the beat. But, like, the whole game is, like, synced to the beat. So, like, the environments are moving to the beat. Uh, the enemies move to the to the beat. And then, like, usually if they're going to attack you, like, their attack will show up, like, two beats beforehand. So, you know, like, you've got two beats to dodge out of the way. And, like, you can sync your dodge to that. And, like, once you get really good at it, it, like, it really opens up. And, they like, they give you a grapple. So, you're grappling around. Um, you can do like three dodges in a row to the beat, and then you like take a beat off, and then you can dodge <laughs> three times again. You know, 
So it's just like a lot of fun. It's like really stylish, really great riding. Um, it apparently it's only like 10 hours long too. And it's like, it's like hitting everything. Like as far as like story and just like from the, from the beginning, it really like sinks you in hmm. and mainly because of that black keys song. It like plays lonely boy at the beginning and like, it like it really works well for the game. Um, I know I'm just kind of rambling, but it, I really recommend it to everybody. I think Kyle said something about hi-fi like, rush. I think Kyle said something about it, like uh, Nine Inch Nails or mm-hmm. being in the game or something like that. Yeah, the first boss, like in that first level, um, yeah, it's like they play One Million. Is that the song? It's like either A Million or One Million. But yeah, it, it works really well, man. And the boss is pretty fun, too. And I just beat um, the second level last night. And I forget which song it played, but it all worked really well, too. So I just... I'm really liking it. Yeah, I'll have to play that. I'm pretty deep in Witcher at the moment. Witcher's so good. Yeah. Other than Witcher 3, I've also been playing uh, like a lot of Nintendo 64 games. I finally beat that Goemon's Great Adventure. So You got past that mech part? I got past that mech part and I beat the entire game. Hell yeah. And Feel good? Dude, that final level is insane. Like, I literally was, I had to go back to, like, the previous levels and just grind those to get as many coins as I possibly can and just re-up my extra lives. Mm Because, like, once you get to the final boss stage on it, it's like, dude, why is this so hard? But, yeah, I finally beat that, and then I was like, fuck it. I'm going to play Pokemon Snap. (laughs) Play and beat Pokemon Snap. Feel good? Yeah, dude. I'm not going to lie. It felt great to play that game. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just felt like a kid. But, yeah. Uh, it's a good game. It really is. I don't, I don't understand why that game hasn't been, like... I don't know why it doesn't have, like, an HD remaster or anything like that. Right. the game's fun. There is the or new one for game. Switch, but, I mean, it's not... From what I hear, it's not as good as the first one. But it's still dang, pretty dang good, though. Yeah, I hear it is pretty good. <clears throat> it's called New Pokemon Snap. Hmm. Came out like a year or two ago, something like that. Well, I must be an idiot because I did not know about that. (laughs) You're fine. Not everybody knows about all the Pokemon. uh, As far as uh, movies that I watched, um, I watched, like, you ever, like, see a movie trailer and you're like, I don't think I'm going to like that movie. I ended up watching Hacksaw Ridge and I ended up loving that movie, dude. It's a good movie. It was a really good movie. What's that one about? Um... Man, Andrew Gar- it's uh, yeah. Andrew Garfield. Uh, he goes into the military, but he like refuses to pick up a weapon. He's like, I'm just gonna go in as a medic, and like whenever he's going through boot camp, everyone's just giving him hardcore shit. Like eventually, you know, I mean, the kind of movie it is. He wins them all over. He stays out on the battlefield longer than anybody else, just bringing people like back to safety. Mm-hmm. But based on a true story too isn't it? It, yeah it is based on a true story yeah. Hugo Weaving plays his dad and uh, the girl that he's like entangled with I forget her name but yeah I liked her a lot as well uh, who plays the main avatar dude Jake Scully or Jake Sully Sam Worthington yeah Sam Worthington is in it as well and Vince Vaughn Vince Vaughn plays uh the major. Okay. So it yeah. is kind of weird, like hearing him, like, you know, be a cat or being a major and just like talking down to all these people, but it's Vince Vaughn. So he's got some good insults, but I'd highly recommend it. It's on Hulu for anyone that wants to watch it right now. I know it's nothing new, but it was a great movie. Yeah. And I think you guys would like it. I might check that out. I don't know. War movies are great, dude. Mm-hmm. They are. I just rewatched that. Was it nineteen twelve? Yes. Yeah, I just rewatched that like a, Gosh, a that few movie, days ago. That movie's so good. You've seen that one, right, Jack? I've not finished it. It's really good, man. I do need to watch it though, because I really liked what I saw. But for some reason, I just I don't know, man. <laughs> for some reason, I just never finished it. What game? What movie? When did that come out? Isn't I'd say maybe like three years ago. Maybe two or three. Yeah. It's so, that movie that's all one shot, right? Or yeah, to be more or less. Oh, so 
Start off with two guys on a mission. It's not to... okay. I thought it was nineteen nineteen, so it's nineteen twelve. It's it's nineteen eighteen. It's eighteen seventeen one right fifteen. It's, it's a yes, 19. it's World War one. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that was. I mean, nineteen twelve doesn't really sync up. I don't think. <laughs> I I said nineteen twelve. I don't think that's right. I, I don't think it started till. It's probably like nineteen eighteen movie. I think you guys are right. But yeah, that movie was really good. It's pretty sad. It, you well, kind of nineteen eighteen is a movie about influenza. Uh, that's, yeah, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like they're like, they go watch it. This is just like a Let's war movie. Ni- what the hell is this? <laughs> try nineteen seventeen. Seventeen. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nineteen seventeen. Yep. So good. That movie. I literally just typed in war movie. It's <laughs> 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 1917. <laughs> but what's cool about that movie is, like you said, it's one shot. And so you kind of feel like you're in, like, kind of with them during the whole, like, the yeah, whole movie. And you feel the tension. You feel oh, God, the anxiety. Yeah. You feel everything of, like, what's next. And I always, I always picture myself when I, when I watch movies like, like that, like, what would I do in that situation? Right. And I'm like, you know, like always saying like the dudes back in those days, like they had the biggest balls of steel. Like they had to, man. They're in a war. Like doesn't even matter like what war, Vietnam War, like they would just walk into a thick jungle and not knowing, basically knowing there's guns pointed right at them, but they'd go anyways. It's just stuff like that. I always like dudes got like they got balls doing that, Mm -hmm. which I know they probably had to. They were told to, but still, you know. I, re- balls. I really like how in that movie, like you pretty much go throughout like an entire day, but it's only the length of a two hour movie, but it feels like you've went through that whole day mm-hmm. pretty much like, cause it goes through the night too. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. Yeah. Well, Where's about you, Cal? Yeah. I was gonna say you guys, what's up? <laughs> well, before, I mean, before my week, I want to say, Jackson, I know you've been going through a hard time, so I want to give you a hug, bro, because I love you, man. Uh, 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 <laughs> hug, dude. Yeah. I love why, you, bro. Why uh, you got to hug him on camera? Uh, you're squeezing my nipple. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard now. Yeah. I love you, bro. <laughs> I love you, too, dude. Um, man, my week's been pretty good. Um, I've been playing a lot of Midnight Suns. Been playing a lot of Burnout Revenge. Um, been playing a lot of. Uh, I played some of the High Fire Rush. Didn't play a lot of it, but I played you know like close to the first whole the whole first level. Love that. That was really cool. Um, this morning, I was like I was getting ready for work, and. I usually, whenever I'm like getting ready for work, I'll blow my nose out pretty hard because I have a lot of bad allergies and like asthma and stuff. So I usually try to clear my sinuses. And like I, I did that and I went upstairs to basically talk to my family for a second. And as I did that, like I just felt like a crazy pain in my chest. And I thought I was like having a stroke for a little while. And I decided, like, you know what, I'm going to go to work. And as I'm sitting there working, it just, the pain just was not going away. And a lot of my job is, you know, reaching over and grabbing something and moving it to another direction and, you know, a lot of twisting motions and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just testing different, testing different cables and whatnot. And all that rotation, dude, I was just like, dude, this pain is insane. Like it's, it's more insane than it should be. But it's not like, in, it's not like, like I'm going to like a, like dying pain, but it was like just uncomfortable, kind of stabbing pain right in the middle of my chest and my sternum bone or like my sternum. And so I was like, screw it. So I went to urgent care this morning and got an x-ray and they said I had costochondritis and it's basically inflammation of the cartilage that connects a rib to the breastbone. So it kind of mim- it says it mimics the, what a heart attack feels like, but Good God, it's uncomfortable and it freaking sucks. Hmm. But it only takes like a week to get over, so I should be okay. Is that from you? Like you're like ah, whatever. Like 
your like six sneezes in a row or something? No, I just had one hardcore sneeze and that's what popped it. You know, just inflamed it or whatever. <laughs> so popped it. Popped his chest. <laughs> popped it. Yeah, it just it's uncomfortable. Um but other than that, it's been a pretty good week, yeah. Yeah. Dayton, what about you, man? It's been good. Um, you know, regular work schedule. Um, I told Connor earlier, I, you know, and you guys got an Xbox, so I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, um, uh, yes. It's got a real... Have you played it? It's. It honestly it might be my favorite game. Well, I'm on Chapter 6 now, and so I thought that you could beat the game with, like, if you played it straight, didn't stop, you could beat it in, like, five hours. Nope. I was so dead wrong. <laughs> played, I played it for like, I played it for about three hours and then I quit and then did something and came back. And I played it like two days in a row and may, probably had about 10 hours or so in it. And then it said chapter two. And I thought, and I wasn't really doing a bunch of side quests. I was just kind of like story mode. I'd get one thing done. Then it, like the initials yeah. of the people, I'd go to him next. And so I looked on the on Google and I said, "How many chapters are in this game?" And it said six plus two. Um, yeah, the epilogue. And I'm like, "Like, good lord!" <laughs> and the then, epilogue is like, I mean, it's not the longest, but like the very beginning of the epilogue feels like it's the longest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard, and but I've come to realize that like this, the game. Like Rockstar put a lot of details and everything. Yeah, they and did. And it's probably it probably is one of my most favorite games I've ever played. It has a really great story. And you almost like with Arthur and like so in the beginning, you know, it tells you like how you treat people towards the end or the middle or to the end or how like people perceive you. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you shoot somebody in the head after you grab a debt or something like that. So I didn't really I just played a game and uh, there's no consequences. It's not real life. Right. Well, then you, you kind of like, like Arthur and then, then, you know, now he's like really sick. He's a, I guess he's going to die, you know? And it's just, you know, you kind of feel bad. Like, did you, uh, uh, catch the part in the game? Like where you get sick? Yeah. That's when you go to collect a bounty and that dude coughs on your face. Yeah. Then that's how you, that's how you die. Now that you say that, it makes so much sense. (laughs) Yeah. I was wondering how he how he got sick. I yeah. thought he just got sick because back then people get sick just out of nowhere. Yeah, it's I played that game. Oh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it happens pretty early on in the game. But yeah, huh. I've played through that game three times. The last time that I played it, I was trying to hundred percent it, so I was trying to get all the like. I was trying to do every single thing in the game, collect every single item, do all the challenges. And God, man, the freaking uh, herbalist challenge is the biggest bitch. Cause, like, in order to complete the herbalist challenge, you have to com- like collect one of every single plant in the game. Some of them are pretty rare, and you can't just find willy nilly anywhere. Mm-hmm. And also, you have to keep a list of each one that you grab from there on out. Because um, as you discover stuff, there's like a dictionary in the game that. Or not a dictionary, but like, what do they call it? A compendium? Mm -hmm. Something like that? Yeah. It fills that out for you as you're going through the game. And, ah, what was going with this? Yeah, it fills out that compendium, and it doesn't actually tell you which, like, items you've collected. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't tell you which items you've collected in the challenge. It just tells you you've collected 31 of 49 plants. And that sucks. What, what pisses me off is I actually knew this ahead of time going into the game. And so I was like, all right, I'm going to, as soon as I pick up a plant, once this challenge is unlocked, I'm going to write it down. And I had a list of all of them. And I filled out that entire freaking list with all the different plants. And it still says I need one more plant to pick up. And I have no idea what that fucking is. Because hmm. I've already written every single plant down. Damn. Yeah. So, I can't 100% that game now because of that shit. I'm going to skip that game. I'm going to skip that part because that does not sound fun. <laughs> it's, uh, not, it's not that fun. It's more yeah. like I'll do this while i am got the TV running or yeah. something like that. But, yeah, it's a oh. good game, and I've played some Rocket League. 
I like playing Rocket League and trash talking when I only have like 80 points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, told Connor I got Game Pass and stuff like that. So I just downloaded GoldenEye from Nintendo 64, and holy crap, that brought back some memories. <laughs> the theme song and all that. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just basic normal stuff. And Did you download Forza? Horizon? Um, Connor, no, I've seen it, and I think I'm going to download it. Um, it's, it's so good, dude. I've heard great things, and then Connor said something about it. So I think, I mean, might as well. It's free. I already pay, you know, for Game yeah. Pass. Might as well just get it, you know. So um, the next big one I'm looking forward to is Atomic Heart, and that comes out in like a week or two, like two weeks probably, something like that. What is it? Atomic Heart. It's a, like a Bioshock type game. Um like a Russian Bioshock, I don't know. It looks pretty freaking yeah. rad. Looks really steampunkish. Yeah, oh. looks rad. A lot of hand powers, shooting guns First and hand person, powers. I get yeah. you. Alternate history kind of thing. <clears throat> and then you also got Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, but that's is that going to be on Game Pass? No, but it's oh. coming out this month. True. How can you see what's going to be on Game Pass? I have no idea. I don't have an Xbox. I have it on. I have a PC, so it just shows me what's coming up next on yeah. Game Pass. I got you. I don't know how it looks on Xbox. What else been going on in your life? Uh, how much <laughs> you seeing? I mean, just seeing my buddies every now nice. and then in the yeah. sky. You know what I mean? <laughs> seeing, buddies. Uh, and uh, so you had uh, some more encounters, huh? Yeah, you know I think you actually have video this time. <laughs> yep, I have. Like the last few times I've seen them, I thought about getting a video, but I always thought there's no point because you just can't. Like in videos, that you never can. It don't look like anything. It just looks like a light or a plane. Uh -huh. But I thought I'd do it anyways because you said last time you see it, just just go ahead and send it. And so I did. Dude, another one just popped up. Freaking kid you not. There's that first one. And here's the other one. Oh, I've never seen this before. What the hell? So one more time. That's the first one I just showed you. This is another one that just popped back up out of nowhere. And it's this is the closest one's ever been. And that one time, I, the first one I sent you, it was crazy because I seen it. And... You know, just doing this and then going. And what's weird is it just, it'll, like, it's there, and then all of a sudden it'll just slowly drop. And, which, yeah, so, yeah, so it was two weeks ago. Um, I was over at Autumn's uh, parents' house, and it, it was the same direction, and I seen it there, but it was more of a red light. And I told him, I was like, hey, what is this? I just felt like, what does this look like to you? And he was like, huh. You know, it, he was confused. Like, well, that's not a plane. And it, like, literally came all the way down. And, I mean, it was a distance away, but it almost, like, it was hiding behind the trees. And it was like it was just hovering over the ground. And so next time when I see it, I'm going to drive. I already told Autumn, I don't care how far it is. I'm going to drive towards it just to see if I can get close, closer to it or if it should. Drags me in the sky with it. That'd be cool too. But all right, now start talking about aliens, so Kyle's eyes will keep watering. Um, they, oh, is that why you're staring at? Me? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes aren't there yet. <laughs> like, I'll be sleeping in the middle of the night. I'll get up and I hear like a wobble wobble like sound, and I'll look in the backyard and something's standing there like that. <laughs> that would be gnarly. <laughs> but, no, I haven't seen anything like that. I, I keep thinking like something like that will happen because I mean. I always wonder, like, does anyone else that, like, looks that way towards, the, like, the night, if, do they see it? Are they, like, what you, with the, They would have to see it. It's a big light in the sky, you know? It, dude, it's, it's weird how, what it does. And, you know, sometimes I think, is it a drone? You know, because sometimes it's in the same spot. But then that second video I sent you, that was directly south. So normally I see it, like, uh, southwest. But this one was directly south, and it just popped up. It was just nothing there, and it went. Then it showed up, and then it was just gliding. It was weird stuff. Yeah, 
But any houses in the area where someone might have like a drone or like a live out in the country, a lot of rednecks. Yeah. (laughs) I don't think they could afford it. Uh, (laughs) I mean, I don't think it, how high can a drone, like a really good drone go? Pretty dang high. Yeah. But how big would the light be? If it was that far. True. Yeah. That's what I keep thinking because this light, it's a, a look, so based off that video, okay. I can tell it was bright. When you see, right. like it semi looks like a star, but stars are freaking huge, and those are far away. And I know yeah. this is not as far as a star, but and it's like on the horizon almost. Yeah, yeah. And I just like if someone was, if I was gonna use a drone, one, I probably wouldn't use it at night. That's if you're like taking pictures of a property, you wouldn't do it at night. Truth, and it just stays there and it just does this. Can you, can you catch this camera guy? It just goes back, and, and then, it'll, then it'll just slowly drop like it's going to land. And then as it stays there, it goes, yeah. it pops right back up. Like it hits like a little boost that gets it right back up where it wants to be. And then it'll just kind of glide to the left and right. Hmm. I was like, man, if someone's dr- like having a drone, like why would they control it like that? If I had a drone, I'd be zzz, I'd be having that thing just going crazy. I'd be crashing that thing, you know. But this this like these things don't do that. So I don't know. It's it just kind of I never believed in you know stuff like that, and it could be the government too. You know, like it, it could be a lot of things. But I just know it's not a plane because I've seen it. God, this is like the sixth, fifth, sixth time now, and um, you know, in that last the one that was different. It was like, um, have you seen the videos of it where it's like, like four lights, but it looks like a runway strip? Uh-uh. I think I know what you're talking about. I, like it's people seen it like, before, they're, like they're flashing lights and it kind of looks like a strip. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. That was uh, back in October. That Those was, could be drones, though. It was actually a lot higher this time, but they were moving. It was moving, but it was all like four like dots, and it was moving hmm. that way, and then it was gone. That to me, I was like, okay, that looks like a big spaceship. You know, that was kind of cool, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. What if they're like testing like like aerial roadway systems? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Could, yeah, they could be. Get ready for huh. flying yeah. cars and yeah. fifth element is coming. Exit. Right, because you would think like if they are going to have like a lot of people in the air that they might want to have something in place to kind of like direct people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It just especially if you got civilians in air see. cars flying around. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Once that starts happening a lot, how are you gonna how are you gonna decipher if it's a UAP? What do they call them now? UAPs. Yeah, something like yeah, that. They don't call them UFOs anymore. Um. I, what do you think they want from you, dude? Do you think they're trying to like tell you something? <laughs> There's a party at the crowd. Nobody like you come to. <laughs> <laughs> they could be uh, wanting my genes for their children. <laughs> like, there's probably a lot of inbreeding going on now. They're like, we need something different. That that looks like a four by four kind of guy we need. <laughs> He's strong like bull. <laughs> That guy's yeah. heavy duty. <laughs> yes. He's an F-150. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it is like a, if it is like aliens or something, then I'm just, I kind of hope it's kind of weird, but I hope I just wish like it's far in a distance and like the, uh, what's that star Wars big ship? Death star, the death star, how it like light speeds and it's boom. And it's there. Oh shit. I sometimes wonder like, is going to do that? And just, like be far away, then and then just show up right over the house, and it's like all of a sudden right in your face. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot bigger than you thought it was. And in all seriousness, sometimes I really think it's gonna like it's just gonna all of a sudden be there. And um, th- that guy that was on the uh, Joe Rogan podcast, um, not Mark Lazar, he, Bob Lazar. Yeah, yeah, he was the guy that got abducted supposedly in California, or was it New Mexico? Huh. He got it. He's Don't know. A redhead, mustache. Um, it was back in 2020 when he did the podcast, but it was like back in the seventies, they made the movie about it. Uh, fire in the sky. Yeah. 
Bro, that movie's like yeah. That movie is like a good movie, and then once you get to the end of it, and you see like what the guy supposedly went through. Yeah, that part is horrifying, man. Like all of a sudden, it turns into a crazy horror movie. You're like, what? Yeah, I mean, there was some stuff that he said that they the Hollywood over embellished. They had, I mean, they try had to make it look crazy. Yeah. They got, but they he said like he's seen people because. They seen something in the sky. They went over to it. Well, he got actually up under it. And next thing he rem- he knows, he wakes up in a really, really, really bright room. And he sees like these weird looking figures. But then he sees humans, human like people. And he, do- he he even said like he doesn't know if like the, the people that weren't humans thought, let's not freak him out. So like shave. Sh- like shape shifted somebody to look like one of him to calm him down. And, and the next thing he wakes up somewhere on earth or back at home. But I always wonder if like that, if that's going to happen, because if that does, it's going to be a crazy story. I just hope I survive to do it, to tell it. Gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> you come back and you're like, you've got like a brand on the back of your ear. <laughs> oh, man. <that'd> be <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> Why do you have this weird crescent moon thing? I didn't think you were one of those people that got those kind of tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I've become Why do you freak spiritual. Out at owls now. Yeah. yeah. I've become one with the earth. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a message for them if they're listening right now? This is your moment. Hey, like, let's go, Chiefs. Super Bowl 57, whoa, baby. Whoa. <laughs> we can do it. We need whatever whatever you guys can give. Just give it to him on that night, please. Right. Let's uh, let's get one more for Patty Mahomes. Let's get it. Thank you for everything. The TVs, the PlayStation One and Two. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bo, now that yeah, right. Now that you've uh, seen that alien video, what do you think about that? I don't like it. What, what? <laughs> oh, man. We were wondering. What is it about aliens that scares you? Like, what? When did this start for you? The the scaredness of aliens. Uh, pretty pretty young, really young. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Whenever I was pretty young, I, I think I saw something, or I did see some sort of UFO, alien or or not. I don't know. It was kind of a weird deal. And then, I don't know. Like my brother used to mess with me and stuff too about aliens and shit when I was pretty young. So that didn't help any. I remember crying one time when I was like really young because like, I wanted to like, get into his room like sleep in his room because i was so scared and stuff and then he just wasn't having it and like it's, i don't know i just remember being like terrified and i was like fucking aliens man like, <laughs> probably i assume he was messing with me before i went to bed or something about it and so something freaked me out and then so i went crying they had to his room like come on man let me sleep with you like so yeah it's always been and i don't know just mathematically it makes sense for there to be something out there it does i was explaining that so, to anakin i was like why wouldn't there be more like, there's so many planets, dude. Like, right. Yeah. yeah. Supposedly, like, the universe is so big that there's, like, some, there's, like, another version of us doing this exact same thing right now. There's an alien the Patrick thing. Mahomes up there. Get ready to go to Super Bowl 57. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you thought maybe the aliens are trying to, con- trying to, like, they they keep showing themselves to you because they are trying to like impregnate you, <laughs> like they're trying to have Jesus too. Yeah, dang, I don't know. Like, I like the immaculate being impregnated by them. Yeah, but it does make sense if you think. Can about you imagine it. being a guy and just having to give birth, like a to an alien, especially? Let me ask my wife. <laughs> how that idea. happens, you know. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know. Nine months later, comes out your butt. <laughs> like whoa! I would much rather it come out my butt than the other thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, like if that thing was supposed to come out of like my dick or something like that, like even just a foot, like <laughs> <laughs> would be the worst thing ever, bro. <laughs> sure would, man. Such a small hole. Yeah, I don't know if I could deal with that, man. <laughs> I don't know if I could deal with being pregnant. Well, if you gave birth to like one of those like jelly aliens, those gooey ones, and you just like peed it out, it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> you yeah. know? They can kind of help 
You know what I mean? Like something that's not a dense because it's yeah, it's, it's they're probably smart enough where they're like, well, why don't we just make ourselves more fluid during birth or something? You know? What yeah, I mean? like they're just yeah. And then we solidify. <laughs> I, I can see that. I guess. I'm hoping. Let's get started on the script. We'll make the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This will be the reboot of Species. I mean, I assume if they're out there and they're smart and whatever, like, they're not messing with us. You know what I mean? They're like, no way. Like, I assume we're probably in the hood of whatever, like, galaxy or, you know, not galaxy, but. Yeah, we're definitely in the hood. You know, it's like, mm -mm. What are you talking about? They're already here. And they're running everything. (laughs) They're lizard people. Reptile men. Whatever you want. (laughs) Have you ever thought, Bo, what if I'm an alien? I guess I am to some people or to, to other places, but no, I've, I've never thought I was an alien. <laughs> Although, hmm. What kind well, of alien would you be if you were an alien? You ever think about that? I don't know. This is I also taking in the fact that you might be one right now. I mean, if just, you were one, would you tell us? Well, I don't think that would be allowed. <laughs> you know, too real bad, you know what I mean, guys. <laughs> but I probably just couldn't. For some reason. They're watching. I mean, unofficial. I mean, fit, you know, if I was an alien, they would be watching. Right. They probably are. So, that's about all I can say. I think I'd like to be one of those bit, those like Ben, <laughs> Ben Ten, if I could say it, those Ben Ten aliens that have the superpowers. But it's yeah, different. Yeah, I, I, mean, I was gonna go with. Well, just give me Superman. I'll be Superman. Superman? First. Okay. Mm. <laughs> He's an alien. He is an alien. Yeah, yeah that's true. true. Very true. Um, the fact that it looks like human is completely coincidence. Yeah. And all he does is put on glasses, and all of a sudden, he looks nothing like Superman. Yeah. It's also in the hair. A little combing and some glasses, and boom. Mm hmm. Not alien anymore. No one will notice. Mm-hmm. You think you'd have gills? Mm-hmm. I imagine I would if I wasn't already adapted to this planet, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have gills? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> if you are, if you are an alien, what am I, a child alien? <laughs> <laughs> if you are an alien, like, are you like? You, humans are attracted to other humans. I mean, that ninety nine percent of us, at least. Yeah. I'm just saying, I got, you, I got fucking suckered if I was an alien. Like, I'm working and stuff, and like, it's going through the motions. Let me finish. Like another schlub. You let me finish. <laughs> okay, finish. <laughs> Did you, did you find any? Did you find any? Uh, what animals did you find sexy? <laughs> <laughs> for science? Is that what you're asking? For yeah, science? for science. Yeah. What animals did you find oh, sexy? Oh gosh! Like Dolphin you're you're science. an alien. You're an alien. You just got to planet on Earth, and you're like something on this planet's gonna look good to me. Mm-hmm. So, what's it? What is it? Yeah, slippery fish. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you would pick an eel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that, you know. Big yeah. old nasty fish. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of animals you think would be sexy? I don't know if like, I would like really call them sexy, but like if I had to have sex with something, <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely be something like powerful, like a tiger or <laughs> a bear. <laughs> I don't know. You wouldn't want something with like long legs that's real sexy, like a flamingo. <laughs> yeah. I don't like. I don't look at flamingos and like, yo, I bet they can take a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't? Me, yeah, no. me either. I don't do that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Li- yeah weird. Dude, lions yeah. are out of the question because they like they're like three seconds and then they're like, get off me. Yeah. That's yeah. like how every what sexual a, experience with lions. What about a sloth? That's a shame. Sloth. You, the sloth could be hanging from a limb, then you could be hanging the same way off of it. I look at it as two. It's like you're hitting it from yeah. behind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I look at it as two. Really have you ever looked at a sloth, man? They have an entire ecosystem on their body. Oh, yeah. That's not something like. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's like essentially finding a woman that lives in the dumpster. 
<laughs> and I was like puke all over her. And so it was like, you're like, eh, like she looks so cute with garbage all over. Her. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Kyle, what animals would you have sex with? <laughs> <laughs> if you were an alien, don't be weird about it. Hypothetically, if I was yeah. an alien, like I said, flamingo, I'm all about the kneecaps. Yeah. Yeah. What about a bat? I don't know, man. Why a bat? Yeah, why a bat? They're scary, yeah, dude. I want an explanation for a bat. Yeah. Maybe you can turn into Batman later. Uh, yeah, just by having intercourse with the bat. Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how Bruce Wayne did it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell you about that in the kids' stories. But yeah. That's how it really happened. They don't tell you what he did immediately after his parents got killed. <laughs> <laughs> he found a bat. He's like, I'm going to take out all my anger and aggression on you. <laughs> I am lonely and confused. <laughs> Shut up, bat. That scare me. Yeah. I got to dominate it. <laughs> is this is this what he did after Alfred was like, when you fall, you get back up, or whatever the fuck he told him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's down there, he gets trapped with the bats, and then Alfred finds him. Oh, I'll do more than get back up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Which one of you is the bat leader? <laughs> I'm having sex with you now. Which one of you is the bat leader? <laughs> I'm going to become the bat. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> what did you come here for? Vengeance. <laughs> you thought if they made a movie like that. <laughs> like a 20 minute yeah. mini movie. That's how Joker 2 starts. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, Connor. You ain't getting out of this one. Oh, no. I, I strictly said I did not want to talk about having sex with animals <laughs> on this podcast. So, I no. wasn't going to bring it up. Connor mentioned to me, he's like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> okay. This is like furry related shit it's like too many kinks like we got the foot kink now we're getting furry kink i don't i don't <laughs> deal with that shit hmm. but say if i were an alien uh i think that those are humans have a sex yeah i think no. i think you know the relationship between penguins is admirable you know if i can say it yeah. admirable you can say it, Connor. Admobo. It's Admobo. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's it's nice, you know, because like you know the the mama penguin has the egg, and then the daddy penguin also cares for the egg. Yeah. So I think you know I like to see that because it's also a loving family, not just sex. It's or, awesome. Yeah. You know, you're just looking for a family unit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's not just the the inner like the close family, it's the the community too. Mm-hmm. Right. I think you took the weak way out, Connor. The the topic was what animals if you were an alien would you find sexy? <laughs> <laughs> that could be it could be smart though. It seems like a something that could work, you know, you could leave your alien egg with the mom or, or whatever, yeah. Connor's finding sexy at home. You know, he's it's the, it's the homeliness. I'm assuming I'm the goo alien. All right, you yeah, know what I, you convinced me. More of a yeah, yeah. I'm viable. the goo alien too. So like having like a baby come out of the goo egg, like kind of like Ivanus type thing. You know, <laughs> <Ivan> <laughs> so, that's what I got in mind. Throw it in your parents' faces. <laughs> <laughs> Movie's nuts. Yeah, the movie is crazy. <laughs> what is that horrible stench? Leave to teenagers. <laughs> yeah, it's a good movie. Uh, yeah. Crap. Uh, what? I was gonna say, Tommy. Or that, he really did die, didn't he? Yeah, Tommy from wow. Power Rangers. Wow, the White right. Ranger committed suicide. Committed suicide. Mm. Oh damn! I didn't realize that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hmm. Very sad. Rest in peace. Is he the only Power Ranger to die recently, or is there another one? I don't know. Oh, okay. It's probably the only one then. Pretty sure just him. I assume you would know, or somebody would know. Yeah. Very sad. Rest Mm. in peace. 
Um, so what do you guys want to go through first? Do you guys want to play a game? You want to talk about some chief stuff? What do you guys want to do? You guys want to play a game first? Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. All right, Jackson, you're going to grab that paper and pen up there. All right. I'm not doing the one. And a beer while you're at it. Uh, Jackson's getting up. Does that mean I can get up? He's getting up. Why can't I get up? Get up and get your beer. Sir. All right, I'm getting a beer, buddy. Get your beer. So you guys know what's going on. <laughs> bo- 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 beer. Beer, 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 beer. Bo- 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 beer. Jackson, you want a beer? Um... You know what? You convinced me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for peer pressuring me. Yeah. Now you're cool, dude. Twist your arm. Actually, before we get into a game, it's freaking Groundhog's Day a few days or uh, yesterday. Oh uh, yeah, we got more winter, don't we? Yeah, we got freaking six more weeks of winter. A little dickhead. Yeah, freaking Pod Tucks It Phil or whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> What do you guys think about that crap? You pissed about it like I am? Forget about all those other I animals. Angry. Let's go fuck the beaver. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> I will find you. Seems mm. like it always takes until like April to get warm anyway. So you know? convenient. Right. So it's like, yeah. This weekend, or at least Sunday, is looking pretty nice. Hmm. And I think Monday, maybe two. I don't know. I didn't really look, but. Usually, so March, I've told. there's a few like snowstorms in February and then March. Yeah. Microphone. <laughs> there's like a few storms or some snow in February in March. Usually March is a lot of ice. True. Yeah. And then it's done. Well, historically, uh, that groundhog's only been right 40% of the time. He's a lying bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Like they have a big old ceremony just for him to lie to us. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a woman. They use it as a way to jazz up the jazz up the winter. Give them a reason to wear those fancy hats, you know. Yeah, looking like they're from freaking Christmas Carol and weirdness. If you remember, though, I did predict a big snowstorm in uh, February, so. Oh. Mid-February, it's coming. Jackson already had a prediction go through. He predicted Roseanne Barr would make a comeback. Yeah. And we've been seeing commercials that she's having, like, a freaking tour. She's back. Oh, God. I think he had insider information on that. Yeah. I really didn't. I just I just figured like I was like eh. is she doing like stand up or what is she doing? Yeah, stand up. <laughs> huh. She's back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> She's back, baby. I wonder if she did stand up like originally, like before she the did. show and everything. Okay. Didn't yeah. she Makes didn't she get sense. canceled because of racism, wasn't it? Yeah, she did yeah. some racist stuff. Yeah. 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 She claimed that it was uh, all because of Ambien. All right. So yeah. do we got bets on how long it's gonna take for her to get recanceled? <laughs> and then, I don't know. I don't know. I think at this point, like, I think the canceling stuff is kind of, kind of coming to a close as far as comedy goes. Okay, I could kind of see that. Because I don't know, comedians like really shouldn't get canceled in a lot of ways. About, he's coming back, no. and yeah, I don't see why comedians get canceled. I mean, if you don't like the joke, don't go or don't listen. Yeah. Right. You should also kind of know who you're going to go see before you, yeah, like waltz in. So a lot of guys like they don't really mean what they say. It's just it's Ah. it's like dark humor. It's funny. I mean, it's all searching for a laugh. Sometimes you don't get the laugh. All right. Yeah. You know, you got to be able to laugh at everything and everyone, and that includes yourself. You know, at the end of the day, I'll always fight for the attempt to be funny. All right. Yep. Yeah. It's the act of funny that we like and we need. <laughs> we need it, yep. Um, All right, so we you, get a game. Ha, have you guys noticed how lemon heads have been disappearing from store shelves? <laughs> no. Uh, I can't find them anywhere. Yeah, expand on this. I haven't, but. So like the Dollar Tree by my house, that's where I would get my lemon heads. And then I noticed that some of the packages, like they look like they were wet or something. And what was happening was like the outer layers would like start dissolving and like bleed into the package a little bit. Yeah. And they would all come out in like big chunks of lemon head. <clears throat> so I don't know if maybe something happened at the production facility or something, but you like lemon heads, don't you? Should've, oh uh, yeah. You haven't Googled it or anything? No, not really. I thought you guys might know. <laughs> <laughs> they discontinued like yeah. my favorite candy 
that I was getting like all the time. Those, they did uh, sour, crunchy, uh, like gummy worms. Bright, you know yeah, what those about? bright colors. Yeah, I don't know. I, I remember like someone like let me try them, and I was like, dude, these are dope. And then freaking, I saw they had them in Dollar General, so I would just buy like four or five packages at a time. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden they just stopped making them, and I'm like, fuck y'all, damn, fuck y'all. Then Vin rains them. The search continues. All right. All right, so I've got a Super Bowl game for you guys. Super Bowl game, okay. Super Bowl game. So we're going to go through. You're going to lose, Bo. I would assume. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's how it goes. So I'm going to go through Super Bowls only from the years that we've been alive. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go through the Super Bowl. I'm just going to Counting your birth date of 90? 90, from 90 on. Okay. I've got the full list here. We can either do all of them or just from 90 on, but I'm going to give you the both both Super Bowl teams and you guys tell me who won and whoever wins by the end, you know, wins uh wins the big prize. All right. Yeah. So, all of us have the opportunity to score a point each round, right? Yes. Okay. I want to beat you at your own little football game. You don't have game, to say Jeff. the score, <laughs> all right? right. Fuck face. See what you know about sports. I don't know shit about <laughs> older Super Bowls until you Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get half of these probably. Do you have to say the score? Uh, or is that like a bonus? No. No yeah. score. Yeah, I was saying, there's a score and all that. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was 20 to 7. Wrong. Yeah. 30 to 7. Wrong. No, no. Yeah. So, uh, whoever, you guys are all just going to answer, and whoever gets it, gets it, and I'll just. Jackson right. will just write down the names. I gave everyone nicknames. Okay. You're Con Dog. So He's Boski. I'm Jackie Boy. I named you Mick Miller because of your hoodie. How? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we have to listen to like the two names. So then what we just say like our name or we just buzz in or what? Nope. Everybody gets to guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start with 1990. San Francisco versus Denver. 49ers versus the Broncos. Who won that game? That was 49ers. That's the immaculate catch, if I remember. I'll go ahead and say 49ers because of the immaculate catch, if I remember. Bo, what did you say? Broncos. All right. Everybody got that besides Bo. (laughs) Weird. (laughs) I thought I knew something about (laughs) All right. uh, Let's see here. Uh, 91. catch. New York. That was really the immaculate catch. Hold on a second. Get the fuck out. That was really the immaculate catch. You just made that I up. I think Jack. so. Okay. You I'm talking about the wrong. Immaculate Reception? Yeah, the Immaculate. No, dude, that was. That was Terry the, Bradshaw, the, right? They're both the no. same thing a reception and a catch. Yeah. I, no, 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 no. In no, the no. end zone, right? That was a legendary yeah. uh, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers player, Frank O'Hara. Didn't Terry I Bradshaw that, throw it or something? Or You're thinking of the Jerry Jones catch in the end zone, right? All right. The, the Immaculate Reception. No, that's a, it was Type a 49ers in. player that made the catch. Immaculate Conception? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. That, was, that was Jesus, I think. <laughs> coming, to a, coming to a date nah, near the, you. <laughs> all right, so I was naming it wrong. The Immaculate Reception is done by the Steelers, but I'm trying to think of like the the super famous play that was... Uh, you know, he, Dayton knows exactly yeah. what I'm what, talking what about. What happened in Joe the play? Montana threw it to yes. Rice in the end zone one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm so trying to, All right. Yeah. Um, I, we need to find out the play's name, though. Come on. <laughs> we're so close. What's the real name? Joe Montana. <laughs> Famous play. Kyle's getting pissed over here. Well, I don't care. <laughs> 91. Joe Montana throw to Jimmy Weiss. Or was it just was it go, man? Just it was Dwight go. Clark. Dwight I think. Clark. Yep. It's just called the catch. All right. There you go, people. The catch. Now, that's not relevant next. to this game per se. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> with the, so the wasn't reason in the Super why Bowl? I actually pulled it up is because I wanted to find out if that happened in nineteen ninety or not. <clears throat> um, who were the teams you said? It was 49ers and who? Denver. Uh Denver. That's not Denver. They're not Denver. <laughs> All right. So back we figured that out. <laughs> What's the second one? <laughs> All right. So 91. New York Giants versus Buffalo Bills. Giants. Giants. Yeah, go Good Giants. Giants. That. All right. You guys all got that one right? All right. We're going to go to 92 now. This one was played 
at the Metrodome in Minneapolis. Washington versus Buffalo. Washington. 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 You guys all got that correct? I know a little yeah, bit right, of history. Right, 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 so right, right, right. I, I know just a little bit, yeah. 1993. Dallas versus Buffalo. Dallas. 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 Everybody got it right besides Bo. I gave him a point for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> He'll earn it. He'll earn yeah, it. You you'll, yeah, you'll earn it eventually. Yeah, right. 94. Dallas versus Buffalo. Dallas. Dallas. Dallas, Dallas I guess, yeah. Everybody got it. Is that Troy, old Troy Aikman? That's, is that a name? Yeah. That's yeah. a name. Write that down that <laughs> it's I a did player. That. <laughs> 95. Mention Troy Aikman. San, uh, San Francisco versus San Diego. San, San Francisco. Francisco. San Francisco, yeah. San Diego. Everybody got it besides Bo. Fuck. <laughs> going to be a big upset, one of these things. <laughs> All right, 96. Dallas versus Pittsburgh. Dallas. Dallas. Pittsburgh. Uh... Uh, uh, d- Dallas, Dallas. <laughs> Everybody got it besides Bo. <laughs> Ninety-seven, Green Bay versus New England. Green Bay, Green Bay. Yeah, New England. Um, Green Bay. Damn. <laughs> what did you say, Bo? It's a New England. Everybody got it besides Bo. Um, nineteen ninety-eight, Denver versus Green Bay. Denver, uh, Green Bay. Um, yeah, I'll say, Green Bay. Whew, this, yeah. It was Denver. What wasn't it? I'll what go Denver as well. I'll it's go Denver. Okay, it was. Uh, it was Denver. Ah, uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, who got that one right? <laughs> Me and Dayton. Yep. All right. The next year, ninety-nine, Denver versus Atlanta. Denver. Denver. Them Hawks. Wait, that's, wait. Uh, right. Is that right? That's Denver. 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 Yeah, Denver, 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 Denver. Street. What do you say, Bo? I, I read that's Denver. Atlanta. Everybody got it besides Bo. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Wasn't right. that when uh, Michael Vick was like pretty much rising? Who knows? Uh, 2000. St. Louis versus Tennessee. St. Louis. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis. <laughs> Good stuff, Bo. Got to go for the home team. <laughs> Everybody got it. Um, 2001, Baltimore versus New York. New York. Baltimore. Baltimore. Mm. Mm, well, actually, fuck me. No, I said Baltimore. Uh, New York. Baltimore. Fuck. Woo. All right, I gained that point back. <laughs> it's now a three-way tie again. Uh, 2002, New England versus St. Louis. New England. New England. St. Louis. It was New England. Tom Brady. Yeah, that's the Everybody beginning of Tom Grady. Grady. Or Tom Grady. <laughs> 2003. Tampa Bay versus Oakland. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Tampa, Tampa Bay. Everybody got it. Tampa Bay. Uh, 2004. New England versus Carolina. New England. New England. New England. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah, everybody yeah. got it. 2005, New England versus Philadelphia. New England. New England. New England. <sighs> New England. Everybody <laughs> got it. How many rings does this prick have? <clears throat> He's got seven. seven. Yeah, fucking eight. Uh, 2006, Pittsburgh versus Seattle. Seattle. Pittsburgh. Uh, 2006. 2006, Pittsburgh versus they got Seattle. To the I'll NFC go Seattle. Yep. I'll go Seattle. P- P- Pittsburgh. It was Pittsburgh. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> Did you pick Pitt? Okay. Mm-mm-mm. You guys want to know the score? No. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> 2007. Indianapolis Colts versus Chicago Bears. Colts. Colts. Yeah, Colts. Bears. Everybody got it besides Bo. Damn. Sorry, Bo. At least he got to say I the know. phrase. I did. And that was worth the point. 2008. Giants versus New England. Giants. <laughs> Giants. 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 Everybody got it. What year is this? What year is that? Nine? That was, that was eight. 2008. Oh, yeah. 2009. Pittsburgh Steelers versus Arizona Cardinals. Steelers. Steelers. Steelers, yeah. You know, the team, so yeah, Steelers. Yep, everybody got it. Last time Arizona was good. Yeah. <laughs> 2010. New Orleans versus 
This uh, Indianapolis Colts. New Orleans. Saints. New, Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. Everybody got it besides Bo. I said New Orleans. <clears throat> yeah, he said it. Okay, okay everybody. Man. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you shaving the three half. <laughs> okay. 2011. Green Bay versus Pittsburgh. Green uh, Bay. Green Bay. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah, Green Bay. Everybody got it besides Bo. That was Aaron Rodgers' year he won, right? Yep. 2012, Giants versus New England. Giants. Wait. England. That's the no, second that was New England. Wait. Giants? I'll say Giants. Yeah, Giants. Yeah, Giants. What would you say? Yeah. Manning, Manning won it twice, didn't he? What if I said originally? Yeah. It was the Giants. <laughs> was that the second Eli one? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 2013, Baltimore versus San Francisco. Baltimore. Baltimore. And yeah, Baltimore. Everybody got it. Baltimore. 2014, Seattle versus Denver. Seattle. Seattle. Everybody got it. 2015, New England versus Seattle. New England. New, yep, New England. Yeah, New England. They, uh, they should have ran, but passed, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I What'd knew that. Of course. Of course. And he's, I heard both say New England. Backfield. Everybody got it. <laughs> 2016, Denver versus Carolina. Denver. 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 Yep. Blowout. Oh. Well, fuck, he knows the score, Denver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2017, New England versus Eagles. Atlanta. Atlanta. Eagles. New England oh, that was, Atlanta. Atlanta. That was uh, New England. England. New England. <laughs> you get no point because the Eagles. <laughs> Everybody got it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 2018, Philadelphia versus New England. Eagles. Eagles. Philly. Yeah. Everybody got it? 2019, New England versus Rams. New England. New England. Huh. New England. The year we should have went to the Super Bowl, but we didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess New England. 2020. You know who it is. Chiefs, 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 Chiefs. Versus San Francisco 49ers. Chiefs. It's Chiefs. getting a the lot com- easier as we get The farther. comeback is. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't know. 2020. I don't even watch that game. I don't even know. 2021. Tampa Bay versus Kansas City. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Mm, Tampa Bay. We had no O-line. Everybody piece, got it. Piece of shit. And then 2022, Los Angeles Rams versus Cincinnati Rams. Bengals. Rams. 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 Jackson won? Everybody got it. So who won, Jackson? It's tied. Uh, yeah. Close. Me and Dayton are tied. Respect. All right. So now we'll go through the first five Super Bowls. And see who, See who wins it after this. The first five Super Bowls. Yes. Okay. Uh, I might actually know, know one of these. That one. Just, know. Okay. So Super Bowl one in 1967. Green Bay versus Kansas City. Green Bay. Green yeah, Bay. Green Bay. Okay. You guys both got that. 1968 Super Bowl two. Green Bay versus Oakland. Oakland. I'll say Green Bay. Dayton got it. Ah, all right, he won the tiebreaker. Nope, it's got to be five. It's got to gotta be what? Yeah, I'm going through five. I'm going through You're five. going through five, okay. <laughs> Super Bowl three. New York Jets versus Baltimore. The Jets. I'll say Jets. Benny you guys both Jets. got it. Super Bowl four. Kansas City Chiefs versus Minnesota. The Chiefs. Man, be Chiefs. Okay, you guys both got it. And Super Bowl five. Baltimore versus Dallas. Dallas. I answered first, so I should get an extra point because I was so sure. I'd say Dallas. Yeah. You guys both failed. Ah, I was. I I came in there confident. If you would have got that right, I would have given you the extra point. Dayton wins in the final five. Slap hands. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So, what do you think about all that? Hmm. You like football. There's a lot to think about there. He's a basketball guy. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> I haven't watched any games this year, but yeah. He's more of a... He's, he watches PBR drag racing or whatever it's called. PBR drag <laughs> racing? <laughs> That's yeah. professional bull riding. Hell yeah. yeah. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> PBR drag racing. Those two racing. events usually go hand in hand. <laughs> uh, beers and drag racing. So before we close the episode out, um, the Kansas City Chiefs won the AFC title. So... Uh, what did you guys think about that game, man? What do you guys think about the Super Bowl coming up? Just give me so, your guys' thoughts. Game was so rigged. <laughs> Freaking 
Chiefs suck. They got lucky. <laughs> it's rigged. Pieces of shit, Bengals. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys got beat. Oh, my gosh. Dude. You can bleep it out. <laughs> no, nah, man. They talk so much shit. Yeah, the they did talk a lot of shit. But at the same time, I... I'm like a little bit PO that they're huh? like talking about like ah oh, they swung the game in our favor when like I've seen so many bad calls like like not go our way throughout the entire year and like I remember hearing like one or two throughout that game that I was like how come that didn't get called oh yeah so you know people were complaining about how Kansas City got that extra play there's been two head officials that don't officiate anymore but. I guess they're the ones that are in New York. Mm -hmm. So if they's like, what do you think of this play? They both said it was iffy, but that one of the judges did like wave his hands and tried to blow his whistle to stop the play. But Kansas City's so loud they didn't hear it. But Cincinnati got the ball back twice after that. Oh yeah, with yeah. plenty of time to go win the ball game, they never did. So yeah, Kansas City's defense just played really well. Yep, that game. The only thing that I could like really like like say like in their favor is like maybe that last play because I think there was holding on that very last play be like or second to last play before the yeah. kickoff you know I did see holding but you could call holding on every single play yeah they literally hold every play they yeah you know, they just call it kind of yeah whenever especially in the playoffs they're gonna let them play you know a little bit more rough anyway well if yeah. Cincinnati would have Cincinnati would have won then no one then it wouldn't have been rigged. Like the saying always goes, it's it's always rigged when your team loses. Yep. So. Right. So, yeah, if you're saying it's rigged this year for the Chiefs, then you're saying it was rigged last year for you guys because you guys made it to the Super Bowl, pretty much. Yeah. That's true. But I'm excited for the game. It'll be a good Super Bowl. I think, not being biased, I think Kansas City wins this one. I just do because this I've game. I've got faith. It, this really feels like the 49ers Super Bowl. Because people were saying Eagles or 49ers defense was too good. We haven't played a defense like theirs. Their offense, our defense was terrible. We can't, you know, Kansas City's defense can't play up to that when they did. Well, luckily, Kansas City's defense went on a tear like the last five, six games. Like they actually played, guys were like they didn't break. They bend, but didn't break. So mm -hmm. I think one thing that nobody's bringing up is during our last Super Bowl, right before it, Andy Reid's son freaking killed, like, not killed somebody, but, like, or seriously messed somebody up in a car wreck. Yeah. And that had to have rocked the whole team, rocked Andy Reid. And yeah. I, I don't think I don't think we're going to have that problem this year. I mean, I, obviously we're not going to have that problem, but I don't think we're going to have any, like, things that are... Setting our mind to something else, you know what I'm Did saying? Did that happen the day before or two days before? It happened just a just not too long before. It was like the weekend before they went down there or something like that. Yeah, well, basically knowing, game plan week is when it happened. Knowing your yeah. son is probably going going away forever, and then knowing that someone is probably going to die, a kid, you know, yeah, it'd be hard to plan. Damn, for yeah, a he Super got in a car wreck. He was like drinking and driving. Yeah, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. We but the Super Bowl. I found out the Eagles play a lot of zone. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. That was I'm the sorry. greatest segue. <laughs> oh God, I'm, I'm, don't take it that way. I'm sorry. It's awful the kids going to die. I'm sure they're fine. The Eagles, I'm just man. trying to take it off. They of play the, a lot of zone. Yeah, but <laughs> protecting those kids. But, hey, Mahomes can dice and slice on zone. So hopefully. And I Kelsey's think, good at finding that sweet spot in the zone to where he's open every time. But they're probably gonna do some crazy man on like bracket him or you know yeah. two guys on him somehow. We'll have to have a run game for sure. We and just like last game, we just didn't have a run game because their defense. But both sides of the defense, our defense too, they only ran for like forty something yards, right? And Pacheco had that one good run. Which do you, do you like Pacheco? I love Pacheco. He's yeah. a beast. Yeah, yeah, dude. I get Marshawn Lynch vibes from this guy. If he can just learn how to read the holes, like have better field vision, then he's going to be freaking really good. Because he misses a lot of I say the like, same thing lanes. about dating life. Mm. <laughs> you got to read them holes. You got to read them holes. That one or that one? Yeah, that's like, 
<laughs> Read them holes. Unfortunately, there was there a second sign pointing to him. So. <laughs> what do you think the final score will be? Oh, man. oh that's a, I like this. Uh, <laughs> I'll go 28 17 <laughs> Chiefs. Mm, so I like 35 28 Chiefs. I, I've had it 31 27 or 31 28. I think we win by three or four points. 27 was going to be part of my score. I think it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be 23 27. Yeah, I I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I think it's going to be close. I think it'll be a good game from start to. I I see Eagles taking the lead, and then here comes Kansas City. Yep, Mahomes they, magic in the final. They figure it minutes. out, and then because I I think Eagles will probably start off defense like making us punt pretty quick, and then they'll figure it out, and then here. Yeah, Pat Mahomes has three playoff games where he has. Either taken the like he's either like broken the tie to like come ahead or he has come from behind to take the lead in the final minute. Yeah. And then the next highest is Jeez. one. Like nobody has two. Nobody has two of those playoff games where they came back in the final minute to win. I guess it's nice having a quarterback now knowing like if you're down, it, like you know, it's going to like. Basically, a, another Tom Brady. You knew, okay, if we get the ball last, we're going to win this ball game. Especially, like, last yeah. year's playoffs were nuts. Yeah, that Bills game. Yeah. The final two minutes, like, changed scored four different times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is Mahomes still injured at all? I heard, like, for the last game or whatever he was. but He had a really good run at the end of that last game that won the game for us pretty much. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that could have aggravated nice. his ankle sprain, though. Well, got us in position to win the game. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, he, it looks like his ankle's still pretty hurt. At least he has two weeks. Yeah, two yeah. weeks is a long time for an ankle to heal. Yeah. Yep. I remember all the times that I would just destroy my ankle skateboarding. <laughs> oh yeah. Trying to do like uh, you know like pop shove it or something, and if I'd roll my ankle so hard or kick flip, and my my foot wouldn't land right. And yeah, it would take it would take a while, like two, three, it four does. weeks. Yeah. But he, to feel good. he didn't have treatment either. No. Right. You know? Right. Okay, yeah. Also Staff being 15. And, yeah, whatever, yeah. We're probably like doing frozen stem cells and oh, hot, oh, yeah. like anything bun, and everything. Yeah. Just yeah. stuff, getting that thing. They're probably going hot water, cold water, hot water, like ice water, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy water. <laughs> yeah, holy water. <laughs> Tap water, creek water. Hold <laughs> <laughs> man. I started thinking of like South Park, Christopher Reeves. They just keep bringing him fetuses and he's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he starts lifting cars over his head and stuff like that. Yeah. <sighs> Who you guys see? Um... Who you guys see making the biggest difference in the game? Travis Kelsey, I, I think he finds a way to get open for two touchdowns. Think so? Yeah. So MVS had a really good game last game. Marquez Valdez. Scaling. I don't think he does it. I th- I think he makes some catches, but um, I don't. They say Juju should play, which we it'd be nice if he can play. Tony's probably going to play. Um, I think we hit McKinnon on a lot of screen passes. And I think he has a good game. Of course, Mahomes is going to have a good game. Either him and defensive side, I could see Jones having another good game. Or um, oh, what's his, um, Frank, Clark? Frank Clark. Frank Clark or McDuffie. I think McDuffie. Mm-hmm. Or Bolton. Bolton, he's Bolton. good linebacker, man. Who's like Willie Gay plays? They said he, he I mean, uh, he had like a something padded on his shoulder, so and he seemed fine. So I think he's going to play. Which if we have him, that's he's like the fast linebacker that is good in coverage and stuff. Also, we need Le, we need Legarius Sneed to come back. Yeah, yeah. Concussions, man. Was they it a suck. bad one? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how don't bad know. it is. Yeah, we'll find out later if he's going to be. From what I heard, he doesn't he doesn't get a lot of concussions. So I I had a concussion one time, and it lasted it seemed like for a week or two, just like. Just that weird groggy feeling. Solid week, yeah. Is that what it feels yeah, like? It's crazy. I've never yeah. had one. Yeah, I got knocked out like in a boxing boxing my friend, and yeah, I had I had this like a a constant just ringing pain in my head for like two weeks. Really? Yeah, it was annoying. It was just like a nagging headache. Huh? Yeah. 
I hit the ground pretty hard. So it was when you hit the ground? I don't know. I have no idea. No, it was when he got punched in the face. <laughs> That's what knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, Lincoln, Lincoln got a concussion one time. That was scary as shit. Oh, Remember, really? Yeah, like on the... Lincoln, play- your son? Lincoln, my son. On the playground, like some kid... He's on like the monkey bars. I don't know if he was like down below it or whatever, but the kid like kicked him or something, and like he went back or did he go forward? I don't know. But anyway, he hit his fucking head on like the metal bar, you know, like just by being kicked. Ooh. And then his dude, his eyes were freaking wonky for like yeah a couple of days. I'm like dude, this is <laughs> well, they're uh, already pretty messed. Terrifying. Up. <laughs> I'm like oh my gosh, I can imagine. Ugh. Hits the bar, goes cross-eyed. Next week, gets kicked by a mule, and they go back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we had to do eventually. I was like, all right. Like, all right, Jessica, let's take turns punching him in the forehead. Let's go back to normal. Straighten up and fly right now. Because uh, it plays on, like, my dogs. Hey, water boy, check this out. <laughs> you can make a joke, Bobby. Pretty funny. <laughs> I brought these to you. The Louisiana frog cakes. <laughs> uh, Bo, did you have a topic this week you wanted to talk about? Anything that came to your brain? Uh, no, I didn't know I was going to be on this podcast until I was on this podcast, so no. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I knew did that. I, did yeah. I just hit you up two yeah. hours ago? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Okay. We had to pick an animal to set Connor up to have sex with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I that like it. term connection. I mean, just get in there and bang it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, not man. Gonna raise a family or whatever he's talking about. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, anyway. Nah. I like a good koala for Connor, you know? Maybe a, maybe a red panda. Yeah. I was going to pick an elephant. Yeah, Connor. See, so Connor could find out what that trunk do. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. If I had a quarter for every animal, I wanted Connor to bang you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But on that note. Uh, Nothing? Nada. What about you, Dayton? No. Have you guys uh, thought about getting into any new, like, hobbies or, you know, whatever? Mm-hmm. Kind of like what I was talking to Kyle and Jackson about the other day, oh. or, like, last night. Um, I've been trying to get more into baking. Yeah? Um, so, yeah. So, you know, I kind of like to make, you know, small things. And uh, I tried making French bread the other day. Yeah. And, like, it, I've read, I've got this Betty Crocker cookbook, you know? So, I'm, like, I'm yeah. flipping through all the different pages. There's a whole section on bread. And I'm like, oh, French bread. I love French bread. So I'm like, all right. Went to Walmart, got all this stuff. Got stuff for a sandwich, you know. Um, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to make my own bread. I'm going to eat the sandwich. It's going to be great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm making the I'm making the, the dough and everything, kneading it. And then, it, you know, you got to let it rest. Yeah. And you knead it some more. And then you let it rest again. And then it's like, it's calling to add in, like, initially I had, like, maybe a cup and a half of, uh, like, all-purpose flour. Yeah. And it's calling to add in another like cup and a half of like bread flour, which is just slightly different. But like, so it's like saying, okay, add in a half cup of, you know, bread flour at a time and knead it into the bread. So I'm kneading it and it just gets harder and harder and harder. Yeah. And it's like, all right, next yeah. half cup, harder and harder and harder. Damn. Like, all right, the last half cup and boom, it's just like, it's almost like a rock, man. And I'm like, I'm just struggling. I'm I'm needing it. And it's like, okay, let it rest for like two hours. I'm like, all right, let it rest. It does expand, you know, like after, you know, you coat it with like oil or fat, it yeah. expands. Rises, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I think we're good. So I split it in half, make my two loaves. One looks good. One looks kind of shitty, but I'm, I'm still proud of it, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, put it in the oven. I cook it. And like, I get it out. It looks normal. But I can tell it's just like super dense. Like I could just feel it. It's like, dude, this thing yeah. is like a brick, you know? Right. So I cut it. I cut the bread. 
and like I eat the sandwich. The sandwich is okay. Yeah. There's nothing special about it, but it's just like the yeah. thickest bread I've ever had, man. It's fucking yeah. crazy. There was like no no air to it. It was like close to a cracker. It was like a yeah. It was like solid bread. Bread is actually pretty hard to make, from what I understand. You it know? is. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Sounds like you were trying to like eat like I don't know meat with like between a. Civil War biscuit, You're pretty right. much like hard tack. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just like you can't fuck up your yeast or whatever, and you gotta yeah, let it rise and whatever proving mm-hmm. is or whatever. I don't know, but and the recipe was calling for me to spray it with water, you yeah. know, before yeah. I put it in the oven. It's like, dude, I don't have a, I don't have a sprayer, so I'm about to get one of those, put you know. In your mouth and spit <laughs> it. Out. Yeah. You did the Triple H thing, just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no one else is eating this bread. Yeah. <laughs> Time to play the game. <laughs> Time to make the bread. <laughs> that is pretty cool, though, man. It also asks you to flame kiss it, so you just put a whole bunch of liquor in your mouth. And oh my god! Spew it all over your fucking bread. No. What I ended up doing though is I got my uh, my little brush that I use for barbecue sauce and just oh, yeah. dipped that in water and brushed yeah. it. Something. Uh, but yeah, I've been. <laughs> Getting into baking, I'm gonna bake some muffins this weekend. Yeah. So nice. wish me luck. Nice. I could see myself like getting legit into muffins or that, that that little pack of shit you get at Walmart. Are you talking like you're gonna do like all scratch like uh, muffins? Yeah, like yeah. Re- recipe yeah. like yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Like really, what I'm wanting to do, like I said earlier in the year, is get more into like uh, like health and nutrition, and just yeah. not going out and getting fast food, which I haven't been at all. Nice. But it's like you know, I don't always want to eat PB and Js and. Yeah. You know, bacon and eggs all the time, you know. I eat a lot of PB&Js, too. Yeah. Uh, PB&Js are dope. PB&Js are freaking disgusting. What? Yeah. Well, they're go, good, you they're go good option. You yourself Boulevard. I don't think I'd be alive if it wasn't for pb and J. Shit. Yeah. I just don't like them, man. Yeah. I never trusted the kids in elementary school that just ate PB&J. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can they're, eat good. they're good sometimes. I just can't, like, too much peanut butter. I, I almost feel like I can't breathe. Oh, damn. Yeah, I need to eat them with like a drink. I need a drink and I need chips. I need some crunch to go with that yeah. smoothie, like that smoothness. Smoothie yeah, like a, <laughs> with yeah, that smoothie. A crunch, yeah, it's nice. Something, some chips on the side or something mm-hmm. going on there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you guys thought about doing any like new hobbies or anything like that? Jackson said he might he might start baking. Uh, he said he'd I mean, love to start baking. I don't think I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about getting back into skateboarding. No. Really? No, no. Well, I was say, like, I kind of have to. It's like, see if I can get both knees at the same time. Oh, yeah, my right. God. Yeah. yeah. Kyle's Bo, got addicted to surgery. surgery. But if you do start skateboarding, let me know. I would love to film. Really? Yeah, we got a, we got a GoPro, baby. Take it out. Did I, it's got fish I'm eye. I'm thinking, like, seriously, like, I, I just want to do fucking tray flip. Even once, being like a clean one, and be like, okay, I'm done. Like, <laughs> I swear, man, like, that's... It's always bugged me that I've never been able to do a tray flip. Just hit I know me what up, you mean, dude. man. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll make a skate video of just you trying to learn a tray flip. But I got that we'll... seven seven five. Now I should be able to whip that dude around. The oh. the two times where I was like able to do a tray flip like really good and land on the board, I was like, I wasn't like moving forward or anything. I was mm. just standing. So I did like the three sixty flip land. Wasn't really expecting to land, and yeah. the board just shoots out in front. Of me. <laughs> I landed like maybe one or two, but like it was like with that tail down kind of thing, you know, where you're like, uh, like that kind of. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was always like a, maybe a one in five for me. I can no, never really, whatever, so I anyway. can never really master it. Yeah, it's fucking hard, man. Hey, I tore my ACL at thirty. You can too. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did you at thirty? Yeah. All yep. right. I can still get it done. Still time left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, such a bad idea. Like, uh, what's tearing your ACL feel like? Oh man, it's true pain. It's it's really <laughs> painful for like two or three four minutes. It's just like both because I've torn my ACL twice. It both t- well actually I've torn my ACL three times, but it's just like. A pop, and then it's it's like, ow, this hurts really bad, and then it just stops hurting, and it almost feels like nothing's wrong, but still, it's just the stability is not there. Can you walk with it? <clears throat> you can ask Connor. I walked with it on yeah. the first ACL, or the second, or the one that Connor watched me tear. I walked with it. It was like three years ago, two years ago now. Yeah, I walked with it for a little while. You know, yeah, he helped me get home and stuff, and yeah, but I. 
all of a sudden I noticed that I was just like lightheaded and stuff. And I was just like, I think I was losing a lot of blood inside my leg just because it just tore, you know, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a crazy feeling. Where does it hurt at on your knee? Yeah, it, I was is it just too. everywhere? Just right there in the middle, just right inside, just right inside <laughs> there under your does, kneecaps. Does the L mean ligament or what does that even stand for? What is oh, that? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The guy said, "Yeah, it, feels... it is ligament. Yeah, okay. it's a, it's like anterior cruciat, like cru- the cruciatus, uh, <laughs> crucial, <laughs> <laughs> the crucibles." Spell the obvious. The guy said it feels like a knife, like kind of like jabbing it and like in the back here, and then just doing that. Yeah, the first time I tore it, like it hurt really bad. It went between two tree limbs and kind of fell on it. Yeah, it was really bad. And then, like, I was trying to walk on it, and my friend Paige took me to the to the uh, Sonic. That old Sonic, yeah, gig. <laughs> and I started to walk on it, and I was like, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. And I started to walk on it, and then I felt it completely tear. I felt everything just separate. <laughs> oh, my And then it was like my f- one part of my leg went one way, the other my part of my leg went the other way. Damn. And I was just like, okay, that that was not right, and my yeah. whole leg just kind of fell apart. Yuck. And I just went to David's house and just hey, why, on his Kyle, couch. why is Kyle jumping off that wall? <laughs> oh, about that. No, Kyle's trying to impress a girl oh, no. <laughs> by looking like an idiot. This is not good. Look how high up of this wall is. I'm gonna jump off it. And then you expect me. Yeah, good times. A lot of money spent doing. I that. didn't think about this at all. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you? Didn't, <laughs> you <laughs> didn't you ever break your arm? Yeah, when I tore my ACL the first time, that first day back skateboarding. I went to Bo's house, and me and him were like, let's go bomb this hill that we've been looking at for months. We gotta do it. It was a double hill. It was like a hill, and then flat, and then another hill. It was like by his house. By the was Jefferson. Oh, dude, that's But we were skating this hill, we had just bombed it, it was freaking awesome, dude. And I'm like, let's go to the skate park, I just want to get my my wheels, my feet under me, you know? And I start skating this half pipe, or there's like a quarter pipe. I get to the top of the quarter pipe, and I air out on accident, like my wheels don't touch. And I get air, land in the forefoot, and when I landed, I was on the, my back wheel, and I went to grab the ground because I was falling backward, and I, I felt my fingertips touch my hand, <laughs> like touch my arm or whatever. Fuck around. And I looked down, and I was like, <laughs> oh, shit! And I, try, I grabbed my hand to reset it myself. And as I did that, I, I, felt, it po- I felt it readjust because it, like, it was like a Z shape. It was like arm... Flat, like you, my hand was over here, and it was just like a flat, flat little bone, and I could see my bone sticking out of my arm, and I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> and I look at Marcus. Marcus was around. I'm like, "Marcus, <laughs> take my skateboard." And he's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Take my fucking skateboard, Marcus!" <laughs> so, so bad, dude. And then I saw Osel de la Vega, and I'm like, Osel. You can have my fucking skateboard. I never want to skate thing ever again. <laughs> and then I call my mom. My mom is so mad. She's like, you did what? And I'm like, mom, stop, dude. <laughs> it's like, I just broke my hand. Stop yelling at me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then they took me to the hospital. And they gave me IV. And they gave me a little bit. And I was like, I was like are you feeling it? And I was like, no. And they gave me way more. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's what 17 is, you know. Good times. I hope I never have to feel another broken bone ever again. Speaking of double hills and Marcus and stuff, I saw Marcus bomb. I don't know if that's the ones you're talking about, like that go to the hospital. Like there's two hills. Yeah. There. It's just like double hills fucking everywhere around my old house or whatever. But Oh, that hill is fun. Whew. Yeah, I saw Marcus bomb that shit and like the full thing, man. And then like he got to the bottom and there's a car. I don't know if it was coming across or it's the side. I don't know what it well, I can't remember the circumstances. But he ended up having to go, like, maybe it's between two cars or something. But he went over, like, one of those manholes. But it's one of those ones that have, like, they're, like, almost, like, concrete over it or whatever. It's kind of, like, yeah, okay. you know what I mean? Dude, it was so sketchy, though. Like, he was going, like, 90 miles an hour, like, at the very bottom of this fucking hill. Like, just, ugh. Did he make it across? Yeah, he did. Like, I don't know how he did, but holy <laughs> He was shit. good at skateboarding, It's one dude. of those, yeah, sketchy things. Keep I his balance. Like, holy fuck, dude. Like, we need to have him on the podcast at some point. What the? <sighs> that scares me even thinking about it, man. But anyway. Right. Man, well, uh, so you guys didn't have any hobbies you were thinking about? You kind of got on a tangent there. Uh, my hobby is just to keep doing what I've already started doing. Like, I've been reading books, 
So I read uh-huh. the Mom Mentality book, and now it's huh. February, so I haven't decided what book I'm going to read yet, but I'm going to keep doing that as my hobby. Did Kobe hmm. actually write it, or is it... Uh, he spices? had... Um, he, I think he did write a lot of it, but the pictures and stuff are from his like photographer, the, oh, okay. like, the Lakers photographer. Yeah. Sweet. But a lot of it he did write, yeah. It's, nice. really, it's really good. I didn't know yeah, that was a thing. That's cool. Yeah. Should read like one, one Legend of Drist book every month. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 300 pages, not too bad. Is it Mamba Mentality? Yeah. Is that what it is? It's so good, man. Yeah. What about you guys? You guys got any hobbies that you're going to try to take on? Mm, I've worked. I've been working out. Really? Yeah. Uh, Feeling good about it? Oh, yeah. Um, what is it with you guys that can work out and feel good about it? Well, For another first, conversation. The first week or two, <laughs> dude, I freaking hate it. Like, I dread it. Coming. Oh, I hate it, too. But, but I love it at the same time. There was one day I just woke up. I was at work. And I was like, dude, I cannot freaking wait to get home and run. It was the weirdest yeah. thing. I'd run three, three and a half. Because in a day, I probably at work, I'd walk. Got over, like, over maybe a thousand steps. And they say, you need to take so many steps a day to help lose weight. So then when I get home, I'll walk three, four miles. Yeah. And then on top of that, I'm actually eating right. Right. Um, yeah. It's a huge factor. I like to eat. I like to lose around 20 pounds, get back to like 205. And then I'll there you be, go. be happy. So and I feel and I quit chewing as well. Nice. I did that. So you just take everything uh, like you put it all in a blender uh, now and just drink everything? What? <laughs> you're not chewing your food anymore. You're drinking you're it. You're not chewing food oh. anymore. <laughs> I'll be more s- like specific. a baby. I quit <laughs> chewing tobacco. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. But that's a big like, one right there, yeah, man. Yeah, that's it's so hard to stop doing tobacco, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. that really sucked. It does. But I did that, and yeah, I feel a lot better. Uh, you don't really. I don't feel as tired. I feel like I can taste food better. I'd smell better, yeah. stuff like that. and uh, At least with smoking, I know that for sure, man. You taste stuff way better. And you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. So. You gain your appetite back after you quit smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, so many yeah, benefits. But it's nice not have, like every time I happen to go to a gas station just to buy or like cigarettes or mm-hmm. you know, yeah. can't chew. And then that also helps from like not buying a candy bar or something like that. Because then like... I didn't really eat out all the time, like, but when I'd go get a can of chew, I'd go get like a Monster Energy drink, yeah. or because uh, I do all I do is just deliver. I just drive and deliver, and then you know you buy a candy bar, or yeah. you know it just I don't need to go there, you know, unless I just need a drink. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, we're, I mean, there's days I don't want to work out, uh, especially like when you're tired, you don't want to do anything, but. I've learned when you just go home and do it anyways, when you're done, you f- then you feel 10 times better. Right? Yep. And it's it's like a mind game type it thing. Is. You hear it everybody is say it, and it's mm-hmm. true, you know? You feel like you've actually done something for the day, even if it's just working working out after work. And I sleep better. That's the other yep. thing. Um, you mentioned something about ice baths. Um, I have not done one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's well. I mean, the only the only place I can do it is in a bathtub. Just fill it with cold water and then throw two bags of ice in there. Have yeah. you tried it? Um, I did it in high school. Yeah, the um, only time I've ever I've ever I, done it was in high school. But I do know it feels like I remember getting out and I felt really good after. Mm. It's really like if you got inflammation, you know, or stuff. It's it's just good for a lot of things. And I thought about just even if you turn the water on, it's got to be at like thirty something degrees. For it to really do something, but um, but yeah, I, I've slept really a lot better just eating right and exercising, going to bed at eight eight thirty. Yeah. Um, not every night, but you know I don't feel as groggy anymore. So I always worry about your your health just because of your family's like medical history. Mm-hmm. I always worry about your health, man. Yep, <sighs> runs in the family. Yeah. But it can stop with me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. True that. <laughs> you'll be the you be the cause. Be the change. Be the change. Yeah, be, be the change, not the cause. <laughs> 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 oh, <man. laughs> I'm gonna keep it going. <laughs> I'm gonna let the family down. For me, man, a lot of it is uh, also like working out for me like will take me out of a depression funk if I'm in a depression funk, you know. It, it helps out a lot. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I think of it as a kind of meditation because like when you meditate, the whole thing is usually, you know, to block out a lot of thoughts and just focus in on yourself in the moment and you know, what's going on. And when you're working out, it's like, you're really focused in on like your form and all that kind of thing. And I like it. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of sucks drinking the protein shakes and stuff, but you got to do it if you want to, you know, build a little bit. Right, but, pump it up. See, with you, you probably want you're probably wanting to build muscle, right? Right. I'm trying to lose, so I haven't really drank any protein shakes or. Right. I'm trying to lose, right. like every yeah. now and then I'll like do some workouts, but I'm mainly just trying to lose weight. And once I lose the weight, then I'm going to yeah. start working. You know, because I'm actually getting on a, a uh, scale every two weeks. And I'm like crap. I, didn't, I gained a pound, but. It could be muscle too, you know. So. Right, <laughs> or poop, or poop, yeah. or water. That weight. happens. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and move into Yo, dude. Check this out. Yo, dude. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Oh, you haven't heard that yet? Mm -mm. What about this? Yo, dude. Hey yo, fuck you, Connor. This is the track. <laughs> yo, dude. <laughs> if he hadn't heard the first one, he hasn't heard the second one. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Connor was talking shit on the horns. What do you think, Connor? Still too much horns? No comment. Okay. You should just have horns. You're just gonna going nonstop. <laughs> yep. You're just gonna play the song again if I say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who wants to get started? Uh, yo, dude, check this out. Um, the radioactive capsule that was lost in Australia was found. It's good. So apparently it was like the, the whole needle in a haystack thing. Um, it was like little like, it looked like a watch battery. But yeah, it was like, small. yeah, some sort of like radioactive uh, element was inside there. It's called a uh, casium-137. And yeah, apparently it was just on the back of a truck <laughs> and got lost, but they found it. So thank God. Good. Have you ever heard? What's of uh like? What's the what's the whole thing? If it's the size of a watch battery, how fucking dangerous could this thing be? Well, it's radioactive. It, yeah. Highly radioactive. If the kid gets a hold of it. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> should be kind of surprised sometimes. Either way, but if that casing cracked open. Maybe could harm somebody. I don't know. Have you guys ever heard about or watched anything about like those orphan sources or whatever for radiation? Uh uh. It's, it's so fucking cool. Like, whenever I don't know, I've never heard the word orphan and cool in the same set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Orphan's very cool. Um, but it's it's weird. It's, it's just like, yeah, different different radioactive sources or whatever that, yeah, people like misplace or lose or whatever, or certain groups of people that aren't supposed to have them get a hold of them and like they fuck themselves up with it because they don't realize it's radioactive and stuff. Right. But there's a bunch of different videos on YouTube of instances of where this happens. Like where some yeah, sort of radioactive thing will just be out or sometimes like people will steal shit from like, like uh, especially like in third world countries and stuff, will steal stuff from like medical like supply thing or like, uh, like x-ray machines and shit like that. They're trying to scrap it or whatever and they'll come across this and like, they'll fuck themselves up and like <laughs> the whole like <laughs> people with this. Like, I don't know. It's, it's really worth yeah, Just hearing about that. It's, it's so that cool. Like insane. And wow. There's so many instances and the, of the weirdest ways. So yeah, people yeah, getting hold of random radioactive things they don't realize and stuff like there's even one I remember there was like people in the woods like in Russia or something they were trying to I don't know what they were doing or whatever but they were trying to stay warm essentially and they found like this warm like source of things or this thing and they're all like huddled around it and shit like but the reason it was warm is because it was radioactive you know what I mean so like it <laughs> kind of just goes through like them like I don't know if I assume one or two of them died or whatever and it's, I don't know it just obviously it's terrible but it's also like super interesting and stuff you guys are get That's a chance crazy. to get into shit like that but anyway. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, stuff is pretty cool. Yeah. But it's kind of, it is kind of justified though too, because this one is like, oh, so and so like broke into whatever like thing, and now they're stealing stuff out of this place, but they don't realize it's a fucking X-ray machine, and there's yeah, and they're trying to scrap it for lead or whatever you know, it's like whatever they know, you know, but like inside of it's oh, that's all radioactive. Like, they're just breaking through the shielding, trying to yeah. get at something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this big fucking yeah, like warning sign, like no, don't do this. Like, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cold. Sorry, my kids. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah was like, oh my gosh. Um, yo, dude, check this out. You can make cheese with breast milk. 
Mm. It's been proven. I feel like I've heard of maybe something like Gordon that. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay was served macaroni and cheese made with breast milk on Master Chef. <laughs> it can be done. I looked mm. it up. Is it good? It was done on Master Chef. It was done on Master Chef. Did she like milk herself? Obviously, she did. I don't know if she did it on camera, but. Gordon, Gordon did like it, and I'm pretty sure he was actually kind of pissed about it. Obviously, but breast milk, wow. you make my day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, whenever Autumn gets pregnant, I'm going to try that. Come here, y'all. Let's make some cheese. Yeah, good luck, bro. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, Daddy wants some milk. <laughs> <laughs> I always weirdly wanted to try it, but I was just like, I can't, do, I can't do it. Oh, you gotta. I can't do it. Uh, yeah, like, ah, you gotta try it, Bo. Uh, I I missed it. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. So you go in like, sorry, son. You have like ba- like a baby, and your wife has to breast pump, and then you go in there and get some milk with some cookies, and you just start drinking the milk with cookies. Uh, where's our milk? Where's my milk at for a baby? Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Which one? <laughs> Yeah, you're sneaking in there, drinking the baby's milk, then filling it up with, like, regular milk. <laughs> yeah, cutting this stuff. <laughs> I'm getting the good shit. <laughs> the baby will never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad this little bastard Damn, can't Dad, talk. He's on drink, to me. Like, like, did you make me drink 2% like, when I was younger? <laughs> I wasn't getting mommy's milk? Damn it, you. <laughs> All right, is that it, guys? Um, oh, I got mine. Uh, yo, okay. dude, check this out. Right now, if you wanted to, you can go to a town in Louisiana, and you can start a fight there. And there is a very legitimate possibility that Steven Seagal will show up to arrest you. Mm-hmm. What? I heard he's a Steven, cop. Yeah, he is a cop in Louisiana. He he's a cop in Louisiana. Yeah, I mean, he, he that, says he is, but he had on. that TV show on like A and E forever, dude. Okay. Where it was just him making True. like making runs in a cop car, just arresting people and taking people out. Yeah, he'll do a kudo on you. Yep. <laughs> Don't give him a knife. Some of his movies are so bad. A lot of them. The <laughs> knife. <laughs> Name <laughs> a good one. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen him run. The majority of them, yeah. The the way he runs <laughs> is freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's the all right. Well, is that it now? Everybody got anything else? I think that's it. That's it. All right. Dayton, you've been a great guest. I've enjoyed myself. Always, dude. I hope the next time we see you, you have not been injected with baby Jesus, too. And I, yeah, yeah, I don't I, want you to be probed next time you I come wouldn't be here. mad. That'd be a great story. If you've been probed, right, yeah. let us know, <laughs> and we'll never invite you back. <laughs> <laughs> they know your address. Dayton, you are not the father. Oh, shit. <laughs> Could you imagine me no! on, the, on the Mari show? <laughs> All right, and Bo, thank you for making a pit stop. Yeah. Making a Gotta stop over. quick little delivery that we really enjoyed. A little something. A little something, something. Indeed. All right, well, uh, this has been episode 72 of Crashing with Friends. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. And also, don't forget. Don't forget. If you love Jackson... And you Show do. him some love in the chat as well. And like and subscribe. Would it kill you? Throw, <laughs> throw Jackson some love in the comments because we love Jackson. Le- like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe as well. <laughs> Making me feel weird over here. You should feel weird. All right. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Bye. 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 Peace. Crashing with friends. Podcast.